Okay, how are you doing? Talk about your, what are you thinking, what are you feeling? Where's your number? Um, I would still say it's just like at a 55, 60. Okay, and I'm going to suggest that you keep it on for three full minutes without taking it off, despite however you feel. How does that sound for you? Like a 70. Okay. Note that as she held the pillowcase in her hands, her numbers started to go down, and she sensed that she could manage this exposure pretty well. Since I wanted her to feel challenged, I upped the exposure immediately by adding the second pillowcase. I want to target her belief system. If she believes that she can manage this, I want to shift to an exposure in which she's thinking, I'm not sure if I can manage this. Even with two pillowcases, her distress level didn't rise, so I immediately told her that I wanted her to keep the pillowcases on for three minutes, no matter how she felt. That got a rise out of her, so now we can proceed. All right, so you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I love that you take that last gasp of air before <laughs> you do the practices. That's good. That's good. Okay. Talk to me. Let me know what you're noticing. How you, where is your number right now? Zero to 100. Uh, it's not horrible in here. I guess it's about a 55. Uh-huh. Okay. And just whatever comes up in your mind, will you let me know what that is and what changes about your numbers as they go up or down? Well, my heart started beating minutes. a little faster, and it's getting a little bit hotter. Now, if it's okay with you, I'd like you not to mess with the pillow. Can oh, okay. you put the pillow back where it was? <laughs> okay, thank you. What were you doing with that, those gestures just then? I was trying to circulate the air a little more and get a little more space between my nose and this cloth. Why? Um so that I could get fresher air. Uh -huh. What's the intention of the practice? Um, to say I can handle this. Okay. And we want the practice to be as difficult as you can manage, right? Right. So, okay. And so we just want to register that one of the first things you do, completely understandable, absolutely normal, is to reach up and start allowing yourself to have a little more fresh air. However, what's the problem with that? I'm, I guess I'm not training my, <laughs> what is it, amygdala? amygdala. Uh-huh. Not training it to? Uh, stop overreacting. Right, so, uh, you know, the safety behavior of pulling it back is a manifestation of a belief that I can't manage it otherwise. And so one, one thing you want to train yourself to do, and you'll tell me if this makes sense, one thing you want to train yourself to do is notice the urge to take an action like that and see if you can withhold the action. Right? Mm -hmm. Notice your urge to want to drive out of the parking deck and withhold the action. Notice your urge to run off the plane and just say, I can handle it. As soon as she brought her hand up and pulled the pillowcases away from her face, giving her more space inside the pillowcases, I asked her to put the pillowcases back in their original position. She was engaging in a safety behavior, a safety crutch, in essence saying to herself, if I can get a little more room inside here, I'll be okay. There's that belief system again, and we need to challenge it. 